Hey guys, Poldo here, and welcome back to another Oris Wi-Fi battle. This time we're having an OU match against Trexo. A uh, link to his channel will be in the description below. And we have battle animations this time. I completely, completely did not notice that I had battle animations off for our first battle. Uh, just because I've been grinding the battle mice on for items and whatnot, and it goes quicker without battle animations. Uh, so I got to turn them on, but they're on this time, so things should look more appealing. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this. Alright, so looking over his team, I was trying to figure out who he's going to start with. I thought he was going to start with the Dawn fan, get up rocks, um, So, but I wasn't completely sure. I, I decided to go out to start with right, I'm like, okay, Victinius usually have an electric move, I'm getting out of here. But, to my surprise, he switches out as well. So I, uh, oh, okay, so, he switches into I'm So Thorny, his, uh, oh, Fer Feral Thorn. I forgot what it was, in, what its name was for a second, but I'm like, uh, I don't want to deal with this. We Volt Switch back into right, our Talon Flame, and uh, he goes for the Seed Bomb, gonna eat that up, and... I go for the the flare blitz. I didn't expect him to stay in, but he did, and it kind of worked out in his favor. Um, he has the iron barbs, the rocky helmet, and I, I'm about to take recoil, so I'm about to take a lot of damage um, just for killing him. But this talon flame holds citrus berry. I run citrus berry acrobatics. Um, Taunt and Flare Blitz on my Talon Flame, and he goes into Moist. Now I'm thinking, okay, he's gonna predict me to switch back it back out into the Maid to tank whatever hit he's about to do. So he's gonna go for the Toxic and get me on the switch in. So I go for the Taunt, thinking that's what he's gonna do, but no, I over predicted, get killed by the Scald, and that is a dead Talon Flame. So I go back into Maid. Um, and he gets, he switches out into Zanzibar, I go for the Volt Switch, and we just sit there, because that's not touching Zanzibar at all. I go into Too Spooky for you, I, I wasn't quite sure what he wanted to pull out, uh, I kind of figured he was going to go for the Stealth Rocks, um, but I was predicting maybe an Earthquake, I'll switch into Gengar, and with the Levitate, but... He has the Ice Shard, which is like, oh, okay. So I go for the sub to see what he wanted to do. And the Ice Shard seems to be the only thing he can hit Gengar with. So it was kind of a waste for me to sub. Uh, because, as you can see, two Shadow Balls are going to kill it. And I think two Ice Shards would have done less damage than an Ice Shard and a sub combined. So I kind of screwed myself on that one. Um... But, it's fine. He still goes down to a second Shadow Ball. Gengar still has the speed to make up for the lack of health that he has right now. So I'm not too, too worried. Uh, and I'm gaining some more with that Black Sludge. But he brings in Riley, and I'm like, okay, what is this thing going to do? So I go for the sub again, and turns out this is a special Lucario. So he goes for the Dark Pulse, and I'm like... Ah, now is the time to disable. So I have that the sub disable Gengar, um, and so so I disable him because he goes for another Dark Pulse. I mean, I I don't see why he wouldn't, but I block it, get a little bit more recovery, which isn't really gonna matter at this point. I think anything he has can kill Gengar uh, at this low of health. So a little bit of little bit of recovery isn't really doing much, but I go for that Shadow Ball, does a decent chunk, but he brings out the Flash Cannon, Flash Cannon, finishing off my Gengar, and so I go into Maid. The good thing about uh, that Shadow Ball doing so much is a Thunderbolt is going to kill, but he's faster, hits me with an Aura Sphere that does a lot more than I wanted it to. I did not think it was going to do that much damage. Um... But luckily, I, I kill it. He doesn't live with, like, one health to, to finish me off. And he brings in Chewie his Salamence. And I'm I'm kind of scared of this thing. So I bring in Hermit just to take whatever whatever he wanted to try and do. 
Ghost of the Dragon Claw that's going to break my sturdy. And I'm pretty sure I can take another hit no matter what this thing wants to do. Maybe not a Fire Fang if it was running that. Um, but anything else I could, I could take with ease. But he switches out. I go for the rocks, so I get free rocks up to to do that uh, damage over time whenever he's switching. But I know this Victini wants me dead. <laughs> and there's no real safe switch, so I decided just, just to let Hermit go. If by some chance I lived, I would have gotten the Rapid Spin off, which would have helped tremendously. But, uh, unfortunately, those rocks are really going to screw me over. Um, and he does, in fact, get the kill. No, like, no surprise. So, like, okay, uh, this, this Victini, I don't know what to do anymore. I go back out into the maid, trying to do things. I thought, since he got the, the speed drop from the V-Crate, that I would be faster now. No. I, that really surprised me. I thought I was going to be faster, but no, he still outsped me. Kills me with a Zen Headbutt. So I guess you could call that a misplay, um, or maybe just lack of knowledge, I don't know. I go into Calamari, the Malamar, who has the Focus Sash, so the Rock's already screwed up what he came in to do. I thought, you know, maybe if I live it... No, I did not think about the U-turn. Um, I thought maybe if I live it I can get a, a foul playoff. I don't know, but... Definitely not living that U-turn. He goes back out into Chewy, and I'm down to my last Pokemon. Jessica the Low Punny. I'm like, okay, I can at least kill this Salamence. Because it is a Mega Low Punny with uh, Return, Healing Wish, uh, Ice Punch, and High Jump Kick. And the Ice Punch for sure is going to take out this Salamence. So I'm like, okay, okay. Can we do this? Can we pull this off? And and clutch with our Mega Low Punny. Uh, he brings back out the Victini, and I'm not sh like I'm pretty sure I'm faster than it. But what I wasn't sure is if it was gonna live or not. It does not. Which oh, if it didn't, I was done. I I was done. Um, but it's just one on one Low Punny versus Vaporeon. I go for the High Jump Kick to finish it off. But of course, he goes for the Protect. And I do half damage to myself, and I'm pretty much at range that anything he hits me with is gonna kill me. But I decide to go for the high jump kick a second time, not like I like risking the possible miss and then maybe the double protect. But neither of those happen, and I got the crit there. As you see, I don't think the crit would have mattered. It might have. He might have lived with a little sliver of red left, but uh, either way. It was a great match. Uh, again, Trexo's links will be in the description below, so go check him out. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this battle, and I will see you all next time.